Hi, I'm Will with uh, CigarCoop.com, and I'm here with uh, one of the legends of the cigar industry, Charlie Tarano. We're going to just talk to him for a few minutes. Charlie, it's been an exciting year and a half for you, and um, a lot of the industries have really been um, thrilled with some of things going on with Tarano. Um, especially over the last year, the rebranding, and that seems to have been really successful for you. Why don't you tell me a little more about how you think that's going? Well, thanks, Will. And I'm not sure I'm a cigar legend. My wife will disagree, by the way. Anyway, it's not joking. But no, listen, we, Toronto's had an exciting year. We took back the distribution in August of last year. And uh, when we did that, you know, we, we just wanted a little bit of a fresh... Uh, we wanted to combine a little bit of the modern feel that Taranio has today with some of the traditional. Um, and so, as you know, we love you know the old Taranio logos and, and the old Carlos Taranio brands. Uh, but we thought it was important to kind of you know, come out a little bit and, and show the market that Taranio is coming up with new and innovative ideas in the cigar market. You know, my father always says, "You look." This cigar market, you know, is uh, is evolving. It's changing. Um, some people say it's it's not it's not my grandfather's uh, cigar market anymore. Um, and we take a lot of pride in the history of Tarano, but we're also taking pride in the future of Tarano. So part of what you see in some of the rebranding and, and in some of the new brands and the new blends is trying to combine those two things: a little bit of the newer generation coming into the cigar market, as well as some of the history and tradition that we have. Absolutely, and you know, two things that really excited me as far as the new releases you have this year are the Loyal and the Bold. And one thing that I've really enjoyed is the whole story that you've been putting behind each of the names of your cigars, especially with the Loyal and the Bold. Why don't you tell us a little about that? Well, the, the neat thing about Vault, we'll start with that, is is the inspiration for the brand Vault really came from the fact that back in 1982, my, my father started to keep a blend book on all the different blends that, that he'd ever worked on. Whether it be blends for Taranio, sometimes blends you know that we were working maybe for other companies or just concepts and ideas. So that blend book, I am now the custodian of that blend book, and, and I actually have that blend book in uh, in a safety deposit box, you know, over in uh, you know where I work and where I live. And so instead of creating a new blend, one of the things we wanted to do was come out with a very strong Taranio blend from a flavor profile and also from a strength profile. So we were looking at the blend book. Instead of creating something new, we wanted to kind of go back in time and see if we could find something special. We found a blend that my father had helped create in the year 2000. And the idea behind it was, on paper, the blend was very strong, right? So we started to smoke it. And while we loved the complexity of the flavors, it still really wasn't at the level of strength that we wanted it to be. So we really went on a hunt to see if we could find basically a little missing ingredient to add to that existing blend and make it special. And we found that with a very, you know, with a very rare type of tobacco. Some of your listeners and readers, you know, may, may see it, but or have heard of it. And it's called Omedepe. Omedepe is a volcanic island in Lake Nicaragua. Um, there have been very few growers of tobacco there, and for a long time, for a long time, that tobacco was not available. Certainly not available to us, um, and really was monopolized by a few companies. But now we were able to have access to that tobacco, and we blended that tobacco, the Omedepe tobacco. We blended it with the blend that was created back in the year 2000. When we combined those two, it was just uh, we really felt like it's exactly what we were looking for. So w when we when we found the blend, then we decided to really name it. You know, blends from the vault because this is kind of our vault of blends that we have with a slight modification to it and so uh, so yeah look for it out there it's, it's a very strong blend um, it has a double binder which has given it a tremendous amount of flavor the wrapper is a colorado wrapper grown in nicaragua um, the filler are some very specifically chosen the edo fillers from esteli and bodega so it's a very complex and very rich and i would say again in the toronto portfolio it's three or four steps higher than anything we've done how about the loyal yeah, Loyal, Loyal's been a fun, real fun blend. Uh, look, my my father, if you would have talked to him 10 years ago, 20 years ago about cigars, he'll always tell you that his guiding philosophy, in addition to quality, is he feels that every man and every woman who wants to smoke a good quality cigar should be able to afford one, should be able to buy the best of the best at a great price. And so Loyal, uh, the name first comes from being loyal to that philosophy, to the feeling and to the approach of making very good cigars at, a, at an affordable price. And so we started making blends and uh, we worked with a wrapper that we don't typically work with either, which is uh, a Sumatra from Ecuador. And we, we, we started tinkering with some different Nicaraguan blends and also some Dominican 